John Dewey's philosophy has helped shape education into what it is today with many benefits. John Dewey, prominent educational thinker and philosopher, was born in Burlington, Vermont on October 20th, 1859 and died on June 1st, 1952. He was revolutionary for the world of education, focusing on the pragmatism and progressiveness of education throughout his life. He taught from 1884 to 1930 when he retired as Professor Emeritus. He formed his own personal philosophy after being inspired by William James's writings, known as experimentalism or instrumentalism. This philosophy was mainly centered on human experience, tying back to pragmatism and progressive education. Pragmatism, or finding the truth of theories based on their success, encourages students to explore every possible avenue to solve their problem. Progressive education, on the other hand, was an educational reform that John Dewey supported. He stated that children need to be taught how to think, not necessarily told that every person learns and thinks in the same way. The core of Dewey's beliefs and philosophies with education was that students should always be invested in his or her educational experience. In other words, a sure way to have a student invest in their education was to form the curriculum around life experiences, as seen in the Philosophy and Education textbook by George R. Knight, Dewey stated that as a child grows, he or she should gradually move away from learning based upon direct experiences to vicarious learning methods. Once a child reaches this vicarious learning, the knowledge is seen as more meaningful, mainly because it was based on individual life experience. When what the student is learning can be directly applied to their lives, he or she will be more engaged in their learning experience. In the night text for this class, Dewey's beliefs were stated as those that allow the student as much freedom that is necessary for growth in learning. Moreover, he believed that learning should not be divided into categories, making it more restrictive for the student. Instead, he believed in a more natural way of teaching, involving more direct questions that forced the students to think using different perspectives. John Dewey had many ideas for education, including the renewal of life by transmission meaning that life is constantly self-renewing and part of being human is the ability to readapt and grow with the surrounding environment. Second is education and communication. Simply put, Dewey stated that in order to succeed in learning, the individuals must reach a common understanding and interest through communication. Three, the place of formal education. Dewey believed that the sole purpose of an educator was to guide children towards a shared common life. That being said, educators should not get stuck on how the content is being taught necessarily, but should focus more on whether or not their students are learning and retaining the information provided. In order to transfer experience into knowledge, John Dewey suggested five steps for reflective thinking, which are, one, individuals should address the problem that they are facing. Two, one must think about the emotional response to the blocked activity. Three, the individuals then takes 
inventory of all possible solutions to their problem. Four, then they practice reasoning with the outcomes and consequences from all possible solutions. Five, lastly, the most reasonable hypothesis is then tested in the given situation. His philosophies have been challenging to understand. However, it is clear that Dewey believed with the core of his being that children must always remain at the center of the educational process. To help keep children at the center, he mm -hmm. emphasized the need for progressive education. He stated that with progressive education, students become more invested in their learning because they can relate to the material. 